Good afternoon, you guys. Happy Sunday from a very cold Oklahoma. It's about 38 degrees, windy. Uh, we've actually got a couple chances of snow this coming week, so it'll be interesting to see um, how that plays out. We are in Psalm 52, uh, only nine verses, but let's dive in and let's see what God has for us today. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty hero? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? You who practice deceit, your, t your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and pluck you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at you, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. For what you have done, I will always praise you in the presence of your faithful people. I will hope in your name, for your name is good. So, you've got two completely different sides of, sides of a coin there, right? You've got this good side that is flourishing in God, that is looking to give Him praise and honor and glory all the time. And then you've got this side that is, it says is evil, right? The tongue plots destruction. Um, every harmful word right? You've got these two sides of a coin. And here's, I know in this it's thinking of two different people, but you know, honestly, how often are we both of those people? How often do we start, you know, even, even daily, we start as, you know, the person that is good and is giving God praise and honor and glory and then something happens, or we, you know, somebody makes us mad, or we get with a group of people and we start gossiping or talking about, you know, things we shouldn't be, whatever it may be. We can be both of these things at the same time, or at the same, at the same day, right? We can be both of these things minute to minute. We can be one thing one minute and the other the next. And, you know, we hope that we are like that olive tree, that we are flourishing, right? That we are growing in God's Word. But sometimes we're not. But here's the thing. Every single day, more often than not, we should attempt to be that olive tree, right? And that might just be simply, you know, Whenever you get in situations that are the opposite, that you stop and you say, God, help me get out of this. God, I want to be flourishing and growing in you. Put me around people that I can do that with. Right? God, God will help us, but we have to take those first steps. We have to make that effort to want that so that God can then help us grow in that way. Everyone have a great Sunday, have a great week, and of course, go be the example.